Good morning. The purpose of today's video is to show you how to upload an article to the Northeast Dairy Buyer's Guide. So the first thing you're going to want to do is navigate to the Buyer's Guide homepage, which I've already done. And the second thing you're going to want to do is press login. So I'm going to log in. I'm going to log in as myself, but for the purposes of today's video, I'm going to be uploading an article on behalf of PTI Walter. So I'm going to log in. It's going to take me right back to this home page, but now you can see that I'm logged in. So to upload an article, you're going to click on your name up here in the right corner. You're going to click Dashboard. It's going to bring you to your dashboard, and this is the area where you can see the completeness of your listing, you know, the activity report, the statistics, all those things. But it's also where you see this button that says Add New Content. That's where you upload things like listings, banners, events, or uh, like I'm going to do today, an article. So I click that button, I scroll down to article, and I click that. Very intuitive, it brings you to the add an article page. Now, the amount of articles that you can upload per month is dictated by your level of sponsorship uh, within the buyer's guide. So if you have a platinum level sponsorship, you can upload unlimited uh, articles per month. Uh, and then it goes down from there. So gold is one per month, silver is one every other month, bronze is one a quarter, and with a basic listing, you do not have uh, article uploading privileges. So uh, depending on your level of sponsorship, you're going to want to add that many articles and really take advantage of that to be seen. So I've already got the article that I'm going to be uploading uh, right here on another tab. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste the title over. Again, it's, it's incredibly intuitive. So article title. Now, this is a case study that had ran in the second quarter issue of the 2018 magazine, uh, and that it was an advertorial. So I'm going to click on these categories, and you can see here the different categories that the article can be listed in. So it's a case study, and it ran in the magazine. See? Very intuitive. You can select up to five of these categories, so you can pick the most uh, important or, or relevant, I suppose, categories. So if you've got a new product, uh, announcements, new product, new hire, award, all of those different things are, are the kinds of things that you would want to upload here. So I've clicked my two categories, so I'm going to press OK. I want this to be published today. Uh, the abstract of the article, this is just a quick hitter describing what the article is actually about in one or two sentences. So you're going to want to be more detailed than, than I'm about to be. I'm just going to copy and paste the title again, but you're going to want to put some thought into that, into what the description is. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is scroll down to this content tab, and I'll give you a quick pro tip. Uh, you can extend this box so that you're not constantly scrolling up and down. It gives you a little bit of room to work. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to copy and paste this text, and I'm going to put it right in this box. Now, when you do that, uh, it does strip out some of the formatting for you, so, but it's very intuitive to add it back. So say I wanted j &L Food Specialties, which is what the case study is about. Say I wanted that to be bolded. I highlight that, and I click bold. Maybe I want it italicized. Italics. Again, it's, it's very intuitive, very easy to use. So I'm going to do that. <clears throat> I'm going to uh, make sure that all of the formatting that I want in is in, and then I'm going to go on down the line. Now, keywords for the search. Uh, again, you're going to want to be a little bit more thoughtful than, than I'm going to be for the purposes of this video, but this is how people on the site would find this article. So put yourself in their shoes. What kind of things would they be searching for that you would want to be found in? So this is a case study, so maybe they're looking for other case studies. So I'm going to click case study. Now you can do a maximum of 10 keywords. So maybe you're putting something up about cheese or fluid milk, you know, those kinds of things are what you would use in the keyword search. Just anything that people might be searching for on the site that would bring them to this article and be relevant for them. Uh, this is SEO information, SEO keywords, if you want to get a little bit more detailed, the description. Now, the other things that I wanted to kind of cover are up here in this right column. So the article author, uh, again, I'm just going to put myself for today. So I'm not going to worry too much about a URL or the about or an author picture. But if you... Uh, if you're uploading an article, you, this is where you would put your name, your URL. Now you can use your company's website. You can use your personal LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever you want that name to be linked to. Um, that's what you would put in this in this box. And then a quick about me uh, in this box to kind of describe your position in the company or within the industry. If you have an author picture, upload it here so that when you're on the front page and people see the site, they'll see a quick little picture of you as well. 
and it gives you the recommended dimensions for that. And you're going to see this kind of down the line here. So the photo gallery, uh, the recommended dimensions for the pictures are 1,024 pixels by 768 pixels in the file formats that we support are JPEG, GIF or GIF, uh, or PNG. Uh, and the maximum file size is five megs. Uh, so those are the kind of the guidelines for the photo gallery. For the cover image, they're very similar. The dimensions are a little bit different, but the same formats are supported, same maximum file size. So photo gallery, I've got some pictures that I want to upload. So I'm going to press choose file. It's going to bring me to this. I've got them right here. So here's one, two, and three. Just press open. You can watch them all upload. Uh, you can select which picture you want to be the main picture that's displayed. So I think this is a good picture, but again, it's as simple as just clicking on whichever one you want it to be. And again, if you so choose, you can upload a cover image. Now, a couple of things that I wanted to kind of touch on that, that have been um, maybe a little bit confusing. Uh, so you can upload a maximum of five pictures per article. Uh, the suggested image size, that's what you want to, you want to follow that as closely as possible because you, it helps to get the images to look as good as they can be not stretched out or super compressed or anything like that. So you want to, you want to kind of adhere to those as quickly as possible or as closely as possible. Um, you can do the crop feature by pressing edit and it shows you uh, this box that you can crop. Now it, it generally works best on horizontal pictures. It's tough to get a picture that is uh, portrait or, or up and down to look, uh, to, to, to crop it, to look good stretched out. That's just kind of the reality of, of the, of the site. So again, you press, you press the, the edit button, you get your opportunity to crop. Maybe I want a little bit more of the product in here. So I crop it and I press save. Uh, you can also put images inside of the content box. And to do that, uh, you come up here and you press image. And I'm going to press upload. Uh, choose file. I'm going to come right back to the same thing I was in before. And I'm going to use that same picture. I'm gonna press open. Uh, you, the first thing, you want to make sure that you press send it to server uh, before pressing OK. So you see it. Send, us, send it to the server. And uh, okay, now that's obviously that's pretty that's pretty large. So the um, you can kind of toggle that by clicking into the image and and changing the size of it. So again, I'm just going to pick numbers at random. It's going to auto uh, ratio for you. So if I press 200 width, it's going to automatically uh, keep it within the same ratio. And I'm going to press OK. See how that automatically resized? Um, and that's good. So I've got the article uploaded. I've got my pictures uploaded. I've got everything to be as complete as I want it to be. I'm going to click Save. And it's going to bring me back to the dashboard. You can see that the article is pending. Once the article has been accepted and approved, you go right back to the home page and you'll see it right there with the article section. Um, I hope that this uh, video has been uh, has been helpful, but if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to Tim Hudson with Northeast Area Media, and we will get those answered as quickly as possible. Thank you so much. Have a great day.